This is a video to celebrate me getting 50 subscriptions finally. As of recording this, we've got 54, so let's keep that building, keep sharing it with your pals, and keep liking the videos and subscribing. So, as I, as the vote promised, I've got to look at all my Funko Pops that are currently on so far. So, we're going to start off with the last Funko Pop that I got that I got from Santa, which was David S. Pumpkins from Saturday Night Live. So, it's Tom Hanks, and I've skipped that. I seen for the first time last year just before Halloween so I think at that point it was already pretty old but I found it hilarious, my little boy found it hilarious, he's got one of these so that was my last Funko Pop that I got, that was at Christmas Saturday Night Live, DNF Pumpkins, you can get a few other ones, I quite like those ones, I would, wouldn't mind those ones I've got no idea who the other ones are as, as Saturday Night Live isn't something that we really know here in the UK I just found that video clip through YouTube so that's the first one so I'm going to try and do these in sets so that they're easier so I can fire through them easy. So I'm going to start off with a couple, another couple that don't fit in any sets. So my little sister got me this for my birthday last year. Was it my birthday? I think it's my birthday. Star Wars Princess Leia. That's pretty good. It looks like it's from... What's the last Jedi? I'm not sure. No idea what version of Princess Leia is. I'm thinking that's the last Jedi. I don't recognise the haircut. But I don't pay that much attention to her hair. And she also got me this at Christmas. Well, I Gilmore. So I'm a big, big, massive Gilmore Girls fan. I really wanted Rory, but Rory sold out and is impossible to find for a decent price. I'm not too fussed about Suki. Or there's a hair stuck inside the protective case. Oh, well, I've got long hair, so that's expected. So I, I love this Funko Pop. This one's alright. Princess Leia. Can't really say much about it. It's there for my sister. So that they kind of fit into a set. So the, the first set I'm going to really go through is Ghostbusters, obviously. So I'll start off with... I'll get Raymond Stan. So it, you can tell it's a kind of older Funko Pop with the, the minimal detail, simplistic design. Because I re-releasing these this year with better detail, better design. So I've only got... Ray, I've got Peter, so let me just slide them over there. I've also got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, he's one of the oversized Funko Pops, he's amazing. I love this Funko Pop. This is the actual Funko Pop that convinced me to collect Funko Pops because before I just kind of went there, wasn't too fussed. So I've got them, and the other Ghostbusters Funko Pop that I've got is I've got Winston and the Ecto One. I love this Funko Pop as well. I couldn't find a protective case that fit it properly. So there's that wee gap at the top. It does my nothing. So I've got Winston in the Vecto 1. So that's my Ghostbusters. I don't have an Egon because when Harold Ramis died, the Egon Funko Pop shot straight up in price. And it's almost impossible to find for under £50. And I'm, I'm just not paying that. I'm waiting for the re release. I'll finally get a, 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 an Egon. And I'll be able to finish the set off. And I've also got the Easy's kind of fit in the set. Get Stranger Things Funko Pops. I've got Mike, Lucas, and Dustin. I don't have Will yet. He's on my list. I will eventually buy him. He's like eight pounds just now. So once again, that set's complete. So that's all my Ghostbusters Funko Pops. I don't even have Slimer actually. Now that I'm looking at it, I need to get Slimer for the original Funko Pop set. Or should I just wait? So let's get these moved. So I like the Ecto One. The Ecto One's really nice. So let's get these out the way, and then we can get some more Funko Pops. So I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this one down. So another big Funko Pop that I've got is Godzilla. I love this Funko Pop as well. Decent detail on it. So as you can tell, I don't open my Funko Pops. So I think this is just a one-off. It's not part of a series. My son also has this one. I think he's got King Kong as well. I don't actually have King Kong. So I, that's my, another one of my big, big Funko Pops. So here's another set that I've got. I completed this set last year. Well, basically within a month. I've got the original Tron. So we've got Tron. They say they go in the dark. I've never been able to get them to go in the dark, no matter how much light I expose them to, then turn the lights off. So it's only a two figure set. So you've got Tron and Sark. So Tron figure, it's the original Tron design from the original Tron. So it's not based on the newer funky ones from Tron Legacy. I also love Tron, which I might be doing a video on very soon because I've just bought some Tron Lego on AliExpress. So I've also got Sark. He looks pretty cool. Also claims to go in the dark. Never been able to get him to go in the dark, no matter what I do. So yeah, so I quite like my original Trons. I would love Tron Legacy Funko Pops. Make Tron Legacy. So that's Tron Legacy. Okay, so these ones, 
are my wrestling ones. I've only got two wrestling ones. We've got The Undertaker. So as you know from the LCD Games video, I love The Undertaker. He's my, my childhood hero. So I really like this one. And my, this one my little brother got me just not that long before CM Punk walked out of WWE. So I've got a CM Punk from Copop figure. So the detail for the tattoos is actually not that bad for the time this was made. Because like, they've only really started recently doing real detail in their Funko Pops, which is pretty cool. So I've got them, and this one sits beside them. It doesn't really fit into any category, but I've got my imposter Batman. So it's a Riddler dressed up as Batman, and I'm a big Riddler fan, as you can see from the tattoo. So I love the Riddler, so as soon as I've seen this, I, I needed it. I don't actually have a Riddler Funko Pop, because the original Riddler Funko Pop is extortionate, and I never got around to buying the 60s Batman Riddler Funko Pop. So the next set is a fourth piece. So they don't, only two of this set really go, so I'll start with the ones that don't go, because it's all my animated Funko Pops. So I got, as you know, I got this in my pop in the box, Scary Terry. Not much to say about that, that I didn't say in the video when I opened it. And another one I got is Baxter Stockman from the original Ninja Turtles. This one's exclusive, also claims to go in the dark. It's never going in the dark, as far as I'm aware. So I remember there's a shop, there was a shop in the Scotland called Game Centre. They sold some good Funko Pops, and they went into liquidation a few months ago. And another here, god damn it. So, in the liquidation, so a couple of days before they did go into liquidation, I was in and I was doing like free Funko Pops for like £15, and this was included. And normally it's £20 by itself, so I picked it up. So, that's back to Stockman. I think I gave the other two Funko Pops to my girlfriend at the time. No longer together. So, this is another set. This is a two set. We've got the Boondock Saints. That's one of my favourite action films. I love the Boondock Saints. So, we've got Connor here. He looks pretty badass with his gun. And then we have Murphy, played by the guy that plays Darrow in The Walking Dead. Looking disinterested, but they're funky as hell. I wish there was a free piece where you can get the Billy Conley character, their dad. But to have the Boondock Saints as Funko Pops was cool enough. So as soon as I found out these existed, I had to have the pair. So I got the pair. So this is another, this is my Marvel set. So... We we'll start off with these two. I've got Black Panther and I've got the adult Groot. So I got the Groot, I done a video on him and my son gave me him as a present. I'm pretty sure I did the same with Black Panther because my son also gave me this. And then my girlfriend at the time got me this big fan He's actually pretty heavy. He's awesome. I think I got this the day we went to see Infinity War. So I love this fan figure because he just looks awesome with that awesome grin. And the, my last Marvel Funko Pop is the Punisher from the Daredevil TV show. And he just looks badass as hell with that red and eye, the, the logo and his machine gun. So I know you can get a chase variant when he's he's holding Daredevil's helmet. So that would be quite cool to have. So but uh, either way, it's the Punisher. I love the Punisher. So Alright, so I've got Mar I've got Groot, Thanos, Punisher, and Black Panther. So I that's my Marvel set. I really need to get more in the Marvel set, but I'm trying to avoid Marvel because once you start, they never stop because there's that many of them. I'm trying to get smaller sets. So I've also got Ren and Stimpy. That was my favourite cartoon growing up that wasn't Batman. As my non Batman Ghostbusters that I loved Ren and Stimpy. I've got them on DVD. So we've got Ren. He looks a bit weird in Funko Pop form. I'm not going to lie his mouth. But Stimpy just looks perfect. It just looks like Stimpy. I really, really wish they brought out Mr. Horse in Funko Pop form. But hopefully they'll bring out more in the Ren and Stimpy range. Because I love Ren and Stimpy. I'm starting to run out of space beside me now. Okay, so we'll get a couple more done. So we'll start off with another big one. I've already done a video on my Pop in a Box. That was my Hercules and Pegasus. So uh, this one doesn't actually sit with my Funko Pops because to be honest I don't really want this one but no one is interested in it so it kind of sits to the side amongst the random rubbish. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one I need to because it's too big to fit amongst the Funko Pops and it's awkward to display so I've not figured out what I'm doing with this one yet so I'll sit that to the side. This is another set. I've not finished this set kind of like the Stranger Things sets. So we've got Mortal Kombat so I'm sure I get Raiden in one of my f f Pop in a Box videos but let's have another quick look at him. He looks cool. I'd like some like, electric on him because that would have looked funky as hell. So you can get all of them. The only ones I was really interested in was Raiden, Sub-Zero and Scorpion. So I've got one left to get out the three that I actually want and I've got Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero's my boy. He's my Mortal Kombat character. They could have put more blue into him. He's kind of dark. I'd like to have brighter blue to be honest. Because in the picture the blue is a bit more noticeable. On the figure, the blue is a bit dark. So, Mortal Kombat. I would like more Mortal Kombat figures. Well, Funkos. 
we've got another computer game one. It's a big one. We've got the Tyrant from Resident Evil. So I uh, imported this one from Australia. So I've never actually seen this in the shops. And when you look online, it's extortionate these days. This one cost me 25 quid. But oh, look at that. That is just awesome. You can get a go in the dark variant, but from my experience with Funko Pops, they don't actually go in the dark. So I never bothered with it. But look at that claw, look at the heart, look at the veins, oh it's just awesome. There is other figures in the Resident Evil range, I wouldn't mind the Hunter. I would have liked if Nemesis was the same size as the Tyrant Funko Pop, because it makes no sense it's the same size as the regular people. And the liquor kind of makes size being, sense being the same size, so it's the only reason I never got Nemesis, because it's a small one and it makes no sense considering this, this one's a big one. So that's my Resident Evil Funko Pops. So here's more computer game ones. They're all from the one series, I've not finished it yet. So, I'll start off this, we've got the original Kratos from God of War, with his little beard, and his little blades of chaos, look at them, they're all wee dinky, they're tiny, I'd have liked actual chains hanging from them, that would have been a nice touch, but this was kind of early, you can tell by looking at it, it's an early Funko Pop, it's like there's not that much great detail, and it was just a one-off, there's no series. And quite take the entire line of Funko Pops, there's nothing else there, it's just a cool picture of Kratos booting somebody in the face. So then the God of War remake came out, well no remake, God of War 4, and you get bearded Kratos and it now has a funky PlayStation sticker on it. So that's Kratos with his axe, looking grumpy, his beard, and there's a full series, so I've only got two out of this series. I've got Kratos, which is a nice figure, good detail. Then you've got the Fire Troll, which is amazing detail on it, and it's a really heavy figure. Compared, I don't know why this isn't a big Funko Pop, because when you look at the detail, it's awesome, it's, a, it's heavier than the, the Thanos figure, there's lots with it, I don't know why it's not a big Funko Pop, because in the game it is quite a bit bigger than Kratos, it's like maybe twice, maybe two and a half times the size of Kratos, so yeah, so that's my God of War figures, I really need to finish that set, just haven't had the money all the time, so what else have we got here, so we've got two sets, one set makes sense, one is just a set that I've made up in my head that they match, so the other one is I got, as you know, I got Aladdin, and I've pop in a box video. So I've got Aladdin. So my girlfriend at the time, she got me Jasmine to go with him, which was quite weird because her favourite was a Disney movie was Aladdin. So I was going to give her the Aladdin, but before I could give it to her, she bought me this to go with it. So I couldn't really give her Aladdin because then I was stuck with Jasmine. So now I've got a wee Aladdin and Jasmine. So who else can you get in a set that would interest me? Vegafar. That one is the only one that lot that really interests me. All right, wait a minute. Alright, so that Jafar is the only one I really want, because look at him, I, I love Red Jafar, he's awesome. So that's my, my little Disney set, Aladdin. So this is a set that doesn't match, but kind of matches. So we'll start off with Cal Norton Jr. from Talladega Nights, played by John C. Riley. He is awesome, I love Talladega Nights, shake and bake baby. So I, so I found this, this is back when Funko Pops were still selling for like a minimum of £15 in shops. I found this in the same shop game centre for £5 and I thought, a oh, £5 Funko Pop and it's one I like, so I bought it. So I've never actually seen any of the other in a series in a shop at all, so I wouldn't mind Ricky Bobby. Not too far, too fussed about him, because Ricky Bobby and him together would make sense. So since I don't have Ricky Bobby, who would I pair him up with? Well, my sister got me this for Christmas, I'm pretty sure it was my sister. I'm going to give my sister credit until something claims the credit. So, I got Parks and Recreation, Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson is my favourite character on that TV show. He's one third of my spirit animal. He's awesome. I love Ron Swanson. Like, they've captured him perfectly. I don't know about the cup. Don't really, don't really remember. The cup could be good. So, yeah, so you can get a full set. The only other one in that set that I want is Lil Sebastian, but I've yet to find him in a shop. So, I'd never noticed that. You've got the wee pony. Logo. So the reason that I've paired them up, quite obviously, is because of the moustache bros. Look at them, rocking their moustaches. That's the only reason they sit together, moustaches. Okay, so we've got, we're on to our second last set. It's a set of three, they don't actually come from the same set, but they're all from the same genre-ish. So it's a horror from Funko Pop. So we've got Captain Spaulding from House of Thousand Corpses, but I don't know why it doesn't say that, it just says Captain Spaulding from the classic Rob Zombie film. So maybe they couldn't get the rights to the film, but just the character. He looks awesome. I remember finding this on Amazon one night when I was like late night shopping. I was on medication at the time and I was just bored. And it was £5 free shipping. I was like, hot diggity dog, I'm getting that. Does it have his wee hat? I've never actually noticed. Yep, he's wearing a hat, so I just I can see it. There's his hat. So Captain Spaulding, I love House of Thousand Corpses. I love Devil's Rejects. So maybe that's why they didn't specify what film he's from. 
So another horror-ish figure is Elvira. Got this in Blackpool at the Horror Crypt. It's our horror museum and it's amazing. If you've never been to Blackpool and you're going, go to the Horror Crypt. It's fantastic. So I got this in there. So I was very happy to find that because I had been eyeing it up online for ages and it was extortionate and they had it at a very reasonable price. So I couldn't say no and pick it up. And I love Elvira. I've seen both her films. Not seen much of a TV show because it's hard to find here in the UK. Yeah, but what's not to love about, about Elvira? Two good reasons come to mind. I don't know what. And another one I got also in the Horror Crypt in Blackpool is Ash from Ash vs. Evil Dead. It's an exclusive one, so I'm assuming, because I've seen other ones without the blood sprayed all over the face, and that just looks awesome. That just screams Evil Dead. There he has with chainsaw hand. It's boomstick. So you can get the full range. I'd like to collect the full range. I just haven't got around to it, because... I wasn't invested in those other characters as much as I was with Ash, because like, Ash is the Evil Dead. Bruce Campbell is my favourite actor. So that's my wee horror section. So I so that's my those. So what else have we got? So we're on to the last section. This one is actually all of one set. So they all kind of do match. So we've got Jurassic Park. And I've dropped one. So I'll set them up as much as I can. So the one that fell is, we'll pick up the one that's fell, is the T-Rex. So we've got a T-Rex here. This one annoys me because I don't know why they've put it in a sideways case. Because you can get the Velociraptor, you've got the Dilophosaurus there, and they don't come in sideways cases. And from what I can see, it's the same size. Why is this in a sideways case? Because I can't display it. And it's annoying. Really annoying. But you can get a really, really oversized one of these, and it looks cool as hell. So, But it's expensive. One reason I have it. So we've got T-Rex. I think I, the only one of these I actually bought for myself was Malcolm or Nedry. I can't remember what one I bought. No, I got Nedry from my big sister. Got that from girlfriend at the time. I think the only one I bought myself was the T-Rex. Most of these Funko Pops have been presents. I've not actually bought a lot of them myself. So I've got Alan Grant here. He comes with the little Velociraptor claw, which is awesome. Decent detail on him. Fantastic, so you can get the full set. The only one there I don't have is John Hammond and the Velociraptor, but I will get them and that will complete the set. We've got Dennis Nedry. I'm sure I've done a video with him, I can't remember. He comes with the little can, he's even got his little Jurassic Park ID with his picture on it, which is just awesome. So I, I like Nedry. We've also got Ian Malcolm. I don't have sexy Ian Malcolm figure, my friend does, and I'm jealous and I really want it. But uh, he kind of looks like Jeff Goldblum. The glasses are darker here than they are here, which is kind of annoying, so they should have been a bit darker. It just looks like he's wearing regular glasses. And then there's my favourite dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus. It just looks badass. I'm almost certain I made a video of this one. I'd have to double check. So yeah, so that's awesome. So that's all my Funko Pops that are currently on. Uh, I'll most likely get more presents for birthdays and Christmases coming up, but I have got my eyes that I will get the new Ghostbusters ones that's coming out. I've got, I'm currently planning on buying the full set in one go and doing one big video on them. But that just depends if I'm able to save up enough for them coming out. If I don't have enough for them coming out, I'll try and I'll get them all in one go as soon as I've got enough money for it. Because I don't want to just buy it. I'm going to put money to buy just for them. So I would ask for 50 subscribers. That's all my Funko Pops. Uh, they're currently all over the place, all over my floor. So I'm going to be a quick look. There's Funko Pops everywhere. So yeah, so that's my Funko Pops. Thanks for subscribing, get me to at least 50 subscribers, we're 54 the new, my new aim is 60 subscribers, so I don't know what, I might do the the Ghostbusters video if I hit 60 subscribers, or maybe save that for 70, a little bigger goal. If you get any ideas or anything you want me to make videos on, give me a message or that. Aye, but thanks for everything, thanks for watching at least, thanks for giving me the views and all that. So I was doing this as a wee hobby, and I'm trying to fill my time, and this is giving me something today. Give me a wee bit of passion, I'm enjoying it. So I, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, share it with your pals, tell your pals to get a check out. I, and as filming this, it's Sunday, so I'm going to be doing my live stream tonight, so it will be the Batman Arkham Asylum Part 1. This will be uploaded the next day. So thanks very much for watching, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, like, subscribe and leave a comment if you can. Have a good one, people.